So some of this mulch is frozen. It's 70 degrees today. <laughs> it's been sitting on that pallet for, you know, all winter long. So it's been, that pallet had a chance to freeze solid. So I'm going to wait a couple days before I rake this out, let it all thaw out. But uh, I usually buy a whole pallet uh, every spring and spread it out. Um, last year I think I got away with about 30 bags or so, but this year I'm doing the whole thing. A pallet is 65 bags. Um, I'm not sure how many I had on that pallet that I lifted, but uh, the tractor struggled a little bit. So um, I'll keep track and we'll see what we can get on this next one. So that's 14. So as you can see, I stacked more of the weight towards the back as I could, closer to the uh, uh, loader pins. So whew, we'll see if it picks it up. successfully picked it up but I had to use the bucket curl function. The uh, FEL won't pick it up by itself but if I can use the bucket curl cylinder which is a little larger in diameter that, that's the breakout force. If, uh, if you're looking up at the uh, stats of your uh, FEL power. The breakout force is used by this big cylinder right here. That's your breakout force. and mulch isn't that fun to work with uh, but if I left it on the pallet it would probably take a month to thaw out so uh, we'll make do with what we got and spread it out frozen and it'll, um, it'll eventually unthaw and then, then maybe my wife can rake it around. <laughs> So it does lift 12 bags. Um, it probably would be more ideal just to lift 10 bags. These bags are pretty heavy. I should probably figure out what they weigh. I'll be right back. All right, so I actually got the bathroom scale out. So first we'll weigh me, and then we'll weigh me with a bag of mulch, and we'll see what it is. Okay, me plus a GoPro in my boots. All right, I'm 211 pounds with my boots on. And mind you, my boots weigh 30 pounds a piece. So 
that's not too bad, you know. I don't weigh that much. All right, now we're gonna pick up some mulch. All right, now I'm holding the bag of mulch on the scale, and I am just about 250 pounds. So the mulch weighs about 40 pounds a bag, and 40 pounds times 10 is 400 pounds. And a few more of those, about 480 pounds. So about 480 pounds, which now you got to remember, Kubota loader I think will lift. Uh, I want to say it's just around 600, 680 pounds um, at the pins, or is that like 10 centimeters in front of the bucket? Well, we're more than 10 centimeters. In front of any bucket so um, that's not too bad that's not too bad at all I could probably get 500 pounds especially if I were able to pile it up even further closer to the bucket so 500 pounds plus this artillion fork frame weighs about 90 pounds and the forks uh, I'm not too sure what they weigh I'm gonna have to look that up but I'll get back to you and we'll, uh, we'll figure this all out at the end of this video Hi YouTube. Oh come on, that's all you're gonna give them? That's all they get. You're never on this. Paid performance. She doesn't like to camera you guys, I don't know what to do. <laughs> oh man. Uh, hey, do you, think, uh, do you think you'll be able to uh, rake all this mulch out and spread it around for me? <laughs> I don't know if you heard that, but she says. <laughs> On stuff you can put on camera or not man what a crazy wife I got she'll come around she'll get her done um, actually she uh, mulched most of the fence and that's the biggest job so because that's a lot of hauling bags um, so I know she'll do it as long as I as long as I wait long enough those kinds of jobs get done I'm gonna close the video out now guys might rain so I'm gonna try and unload that real quickly and uh, if I don't have to video it I can usually get things done a little bit quicker um, this artillion fork frame I told you I was gonna let you know how much these forks weigh right um, I'm just gonna have to have to uh, put that right down in one of these titles down here somewhere that's how much the forks weigh so that plus the uh, plus the fork frame um, that's the total weight of the forks uh, pretty pretty good deal and I don't know if you guys notice this but check this out receiver hitch built right into the fork frame okay there's not many manufacturers that do that uh, I really don't know of any there might be a couple but I I'm not aware of any that do but to have a receiver hitch up here what a great invention that is huh I mean think of the things that you could do with that you know, you can certainly move trailers around like the professionals do. <laughs> All right, that's enough for now. I'm getting too silly. And I got to go move some more mulch. So thanks for watching. Give me a like. Remember, it really helps promote the video, helps promote the channel. I would appreciate it. If you are a YouTube tractor creator, check out Tractor Tube on Facebook. Do a search for it on Facebook and you'll find us. The group is growing. I think we've got about eight members now so far, which... Out of the tractor youtube community that's a pretty good chunk um, i think there's a lot more so if you know a tractor youtube creator uh, let them know comment on their channel say go check out facebook and look up tractor tube and hopefully they find us uh, we're trying to bring you some uh, trying to bring you some better content by uh, collaborating on some things and just kind of having some discussions so that's just for youtube creators 
Um, what else? What else? Oh, hey, I know one thing you could do. Um, AK Dad, all right? Alaska Dad. He's got a great YouTube channel. I've been watching him ever since he had like 13 subscribers. I think I was one of the one of the first 20. Uh, he's got a great YouTube channel. Him and Joel Lesage are having this battle about, about uh, the longest lasting snowbank uh, or snow pile. <laughs> it's kind of comical. Uh, go check out uh, AK Dad's channel and subscribe to his channel. He's got about 400 subscribers or so, so we want him to get to that 500 mark so he can join our tractor tube. Because <laughs> that's the criteria, you got to have 500. Uh, so anyway, AK Dad, I hope it keeps on snowing for you up in Alaska so you can win that maple syrup from Joe. That uh, uh, but Man, I don't know, Joe's pile is still pretty big. If he gets any more snow, it's not looking good for you. All right, now, this time for real, I'm closing out this video. Keep on tractoring, and God bless.